In this video, we're going to look at the scale of your Minecraft world compared to our universe, but we're going to do it in a way that's just a little unusual, to do both this game and the universe justice. Our journey begins right here, with just a single Minecraft block. This block is 1 meter in height and width, as confirmed by the Minecraft wiki. You can easily visualise the size of this right at home, with the average height of a man in the United States being 5 foot 9 inches tall, 1 meter would be roughly 3 fifths of your height. But the Minecraft world is a lot bigger than this, so let's keep going further from spawn. At 56,000 blocks out from spawn, you will have travelled further than the vast majority of Minecraft players will in their survival world. At this distance, you will have successfully traversed the entire length of New York from its two longest points. Congratulations. However, if you make it to 100,000 blocks from spawn, this is the height in which space officially begins above the Earth's atmosphere. This is known as the Kármán line. But as some of you more knowledgeable Minecraft players may know, the Minecraft world is huge, and 100,000 blocks from spawn is only a small fraction of its size. So let's ramp up our numbers a little bit, shall we? All the way up at 12,740,000 blocks from spawn, this is the diameter of the Earth. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you have ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives there, on a dot, in the endless nothing of space. All the way up to 49,500,000 blocks from spawn, you will have crossed the entire diameter of Neptune the smallest gas giant of our solar system, and with over 10 million blocks to spare before you even reach the vanilla Minecraft world border. At this point you can't really go any further without using mods, however terrain itself can still generate past this point, so let's add a mod called the 128-bit mod that'll allow us to go even further. At 160 million blocks we reach a distance that every blood vessel in the human body would reach if you were to somehow extract them all and lay them side by side, so technically you could say you are 525 million feet tall. At 401 million blocks we arrive at the farthest distance any human in history has ever been from the surface of the earth. This was accomplished by the Apollo 13 crew in 1970 where, after an oxygen tank blew up on their way to the moon, had to abort the mission and do a gravitational slingshot around the moon to return back to Earth. At 1.4 billion blocks out, we reach the diameter of our sun, the star that provides life to all creatures on Earth. To give you some sort of scale, this is so massive that you could fit 1.3 million Earths inside and still have room to spare. However, humans themselves are pretty big because further out at 13.7 billion blocks is a distance that if every human alive today would reach if you were to stack them all on top of one another. And this is going to be a pretty big jump, but at 150 billion blocks we get to the distance commonly referred to as one astronomical unit, a unit of measurement used for vast distances in space and is the distance between the sun and the earth. But believe it or not, this is only just the beginning of our journey. Now, we're getting to the stupendously large celestial objects category, starting with the largest known star we've discovered, Stevenson 218, with an absolutely colossal 3 trillion blocks in diameter. If you were to replace the sun with the star, the orbit of Saturn would already be engulfed beneath its surface. That's how big it is. Now, past this point, there are only a few things we can draw comparisons to in order to fully understand the limits of a Minecraft world and one of them would be the supermassive black holes at the centre of galaxies. Tun 618 is the largest black hole we've ever discovered with a diameter of 300 and wait, let me see if I'm reading my script properly here. 300, what is that, 390, how many zeros is that, hold on a second. 390 trillion blocks, or about 2,600 astronomical units. It would take light 50 days to travel at circumference, and for comparison, light travels at 300 million blocks per second, which is enough to circle the Earth 7.5 times in a single second. However, the most absurd thing about Tun 618 isn't its size, but its mass, as it is literally heavier than every star in the entire Milky Way galaxy combined, including the black hole in the centre of our own galaxy. And if you wanted to, theoretically you could fit the entirety of this black hole inside this Minecraft world. But the universe is incomprehensibly vast, so we still have many things we can still talk about. This is going to be a little bit of a tongue twister, but at 9 quadrillion 434 trillion 697 billion 32 million 156 thousand 579 point 82 blocks, this is the distance that light itself travels in one year. 
and this unit of distance is simply referred to as 1 light year. So now we're in the quadrillion block range, and all the way up at 40 quadrillion blocks you have just now reached Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system to our own solar system. And at 538 quadrillion blocks, this is how long every atom in the human body would be if you were to extract all of them and lay them side by side, arriving at 57 light years. And this would also similarly be the length of every single block in the vanilla 1.21 Minecraft world, all 60 million by 60 million by 255. At 252 quintillion blocks is the distance between Earth and Sagittarius A, the black hole in the centre of our galaxy. And at almost exactly 1 sextillion blocks, which is 10 to the 21 metres from spawn, congratulations traveller because you have just crossed the entire length of the Milky Way galaxy from one end to another. Up until the 1920s, scientists believed that the Milky Way galaxy was our entire universe, as they were unable to recognise anything more distant, until it was discovered in the 1920s that Andromeda was not just a star, but another galaxy, just like our own. And on the topic about the Andromeda galaxy, at 23.66 trillion blocks out, or about 2.5 million light years away, you will have arrived at our nearest neighbouring galaxy, Andromeda. However, nothing is quite as dark and mysterious as the Bootes Supervoid, an absolutely colossal gap in space 330 million light years across, with only approximately 60 galaxies contained within making it the largest known void in the entire universe. To travel this distance in Minecraft, you will have to fly out 3 septillion and 116 sextillion blocks. To cross this distance at an average walking speed, it would take you 100 quadrillion years, or roughly 7.2 million times the age of the known universe. But we're only getting started because the largest unit of measurement ever devised is 1 gigaparsec, which is 31 septillion blocks in length. And at 94.3 septillion blocks, we have just now covered the length of the largest structure in the observable universe, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, which is a supercluster of galaxies. And we finally arrived. At a little under 1 octillion Minecraft blocks, we have just crossed the diameter of the observable universe inside Minecraft. And a little more at 2.7 octillion Minecraft blocks is the circumference of the entire universe. But you may be wondering, at this point how the hell is Minecraft still generating, and where does it even end? 1 nonillion blocks, 1 decillion blocks, 1 undecillion blocks, 1 duodecillion blocks, 1 tredecillion blocks, not 1 quatuordecillion blocks either, not even 1 quindecillion blocks, but at 9.17 quindecillion blocks on the x-axis, large chunks of terrain simply stop generating and only small lines of blocks persist further. On the z-axis, the terrain generates a little further at 11.75 quindecillion blocks until once again, only single block lines continue. And on the z-axis, I found this single line that generated way out until 50 quindecillion blocks. But then an idea came to me. I could calculate approximately how many blocks there are in this Minecraft world. First, we multiply these values by 2 to take into account the negative x and z values. 19.75 quintillion multiplied by 23.5 quintillion multiplied by 128, which is the average height of this farland's terrain. And with this, you get this. 5.94 times 10 to the power of 100. 5 Google blocks. The universe only has 1 times 10 to the power of 82 total atoms in comparison. That is 6 quintillion universes worth of atoms inside this Minecraft world. So the next time you delete your Minecraft world, just know that you are a destroyer of universes. If you're still here then, wow, I really appreciate that you took the time out of your day to watch this video and I hope you've learned something about the universe because while doing my research and planning for this video, I certainly did learn quite a few things myself. Although I've always been fascinated by the cosmos, I've always wanted to share some of my wonder about the universe with others and I learned that Minecraft is a really good way to express that due to the creative nature of the game. I want to thank my friend Bruce Lee. He's, he's not the real Bruce Lee, by the way, but he's close enough for helping me with a lot of the calculations that went into the things that I talked about in this video, and also for helping me write and refine the script. He's a smart guy. And it would be awesome if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, and maybe even share this video to a friend who also might be curious about the universe. Also, you could join my Discord if you wanted to, the link will be in the description. Soon I'll be posting updates and videos that I'm planning, and possibly some sneaks on future videos before they actually come out. And yeah, that's all for now, and I'll see you later. I guess I should sleep now, I've been up far too long editing this video. <sighs>